Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part two of my Best of Beauty products for 2014. Today is going to be eyes and lips. I think that's all I'm going to do in this video because looking at the amount of stuff I have in front of me to share with you guys, it might make it long enough just having eyes and lips. So yeah, if you guys want me to do a part three, let me know. I'm thinking about it. I just don't know that I will be able to get it up until the following week. So maybe a week and a half. A week and a half from when you're watching this right now because I'm going to IMATS in Los Angeles or more so Pasadena. I'm so excited! And while I have some videos pre-filmed, I am honestly just running out of time. I have a lot of stuff to do to prep for the trip and I'm so excited. But yeah, I just don't know when I can get part three up. I think I will do it. Let me know if, if that's okay, if, if it's up a little bit later you know, coming up towards the middle of the month. And part three would just be anything that I forgot in part one or two, and then skincare, random, miscellaneous type stuff that sometimes that's like the most interesting stuff. You know, just little things that I find that really help my beauty routine and, you know, just that I love. So yes, let me know if that's okay. I think I, I, think I will do it unless a ton of you say you don't want to see it, but I know a lot of you have already said you wanted to see that too. So anyway, but yes, I met. I'm super excited. I think this is the only video that I have to announce because all the other ones are pre-filmed and this is where I'm going to announce that I'm going to go to IMAT. So I'm super excited. I will be traveling with Laura from Miss Lola Lynn and then Cassie from Shades of Cassie and I'm super excited. And yeah, if you are coming or if you're going to be at IMAT, please come up and if you see us, please come up and say hi. I would love, love to see anybody and everybody there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finally get into the products. I think I'm going to go ahead and do eyes first because I want to save lips for last because I think I'm most excited about lip products. Let's go ahead and do kind of eye primers first. I have to shout it out, it might be redundant, but the MAC Paint Pot. This year I've actually been loving the color Painterly, which is more of a neutrally pink skin tone color. Previously I have been obsessed with Soft Ochre, which is more of a yellow base, but I've just been loving this. It just lays down such a nice base while concealing, so kind of conceals out any discoloration on your eye area. And then of course it does a great job of priming so your eyeshadow will go on a lot a lot more beautiful and just blend out easier and stay and not crease. And then from the drugstore I have two of the Jordania Made to Last 12 Hour Eyeshadow Pencils. So the other one I'm not sure where it is but it is the shade Continuous Almond which is just very similar to the Paint Pot. It's just a skin tone color. And then this one is in the color 01 Eternal White. These are just a crayon form, so they just self-sharpen and you basically just dab them on your eyes and blend them out. They are just so amazing and they're like two or three dollars. Now, I think somebody said that these were on clearance at Walgreens, which is where I get my Jordani products. So I don't know if that means they're gonna be discontinuing them, which I need to go to Walgreens and snatch these up because these are so good. They just make your eyeshadows not crease. They do everything that you would want in an eyeshadow primer. And I love the white one especially. this. Now this might be too, too light and bright if you are medium skin or darker, but fair and light skin. I like this all over the eye area for a base because it really helps to brighten up and just lighten up the eyes. And I had a hard time in part one when I was filming because I just get so excited and I want to start or continue talking about every little product to tell you every little detail about why, why I love it. But here's the deal. We can't have this video be two hours long. <laughs> so if I find myself chatting too much about it, I'll try to like cut myself off and go on to the next thing. I just posted last night, Sunday, today is Monday, happy Monday. <laughs> I posted my Makeup Forever eyeshadow video, Makeup Forever Artist Shadow Swatches Review. I compared them to Makeup Geek MAC in Anastasia eyeshadows, so I ranked them in order of my favorite. So go watch that video, but I have to shout these out. These are super duper amazing. They just, <sighs> just go watch that video because I'll just keep saying like, they're amazing, they're amazing, they're amazing, because they are. So Makeup Forever Artist Shadows, yeah buddy. This video is not complete if I don't shout out Makeup Geek eyeshadows. These are just so great. If you guys aren't familiar, they are $5.99 a pan. So you can buy them in a compact, but I buy them in the pan. They're, you know, six bucks, $5.99. So many great shades to choose from. So easy to work with, just wonderful products. I'll just briefly shout them out in this video because I have used these a ton 
and featured them, you know, before, like all these products. But I am going to be doing my Makeup Geek eyeshadow collection in swatches. I've been preparing for it. I will be doing that video probably once I get back from IMATS. I will film that and get that up as soon as possible. So until then, I love these and I don't think if you find a color that you like and the description sounds great, I, you know, you wouldn't be disappointed with them. And I guess I might as well shout out, I didn't have this planned or it wasn't on my list, but the Z palettes. I especially love the extra large Z palettes. It's the biggest size you can get and it fits all those, I don't want to have a reflection, but it fits all those eyeshadows. How many do, can you fit in there? So it fits 35 MAC eyeshadows or Makeup Geek eyeshadows, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows, and obviously the Makeup Geek one, or the Makeup Forever eyeshadows are bigger, so it doesn't fit as many. But 35 all in front of your face, so for me, I just, I love a Z palette just because I can see everything all in front of me, and in my makeup kit, it's just easy to have a Z palette and you can just open it up and have all those shadows so you don't have to keep digging into other shadows. For personal use and professional use, I... I love the Z palette and I get my Z palettes off Makeup Geek as well. And next, I'm not sure that I have talked about these a ton, but I'm going to be doing a whole video about my Bobbi Brown because I have eyeshadows to show you in this video that are in the favorites for the year. But Bobbi Brown, I will be doing like a Bobbi Brown collection video and just going through all my Bobbi Brown products that I have and just giving you like mini reviews and what to buy and like maybe what you you know, what, what I wouldn't recommend buying. But anyway, I have the eyeshadows and I'm so embarrassed to show you, but you know, like I always say, it's real life. My palette is disgusting. <laughs> so these are the eyeshadows. They do come singularly, but I pop them into the empty palettes just because, like I've already said, I love to have like all my eyeshadows out, all my products like in front of me because then I feel more like an artiste. I can just dip and mix, mix colors. Anyway, the color that I have loved the most, there's two colors actually, so I'm just going to feature those and just stay tuned for the Bobbi Brown video to see like all the other colors and swatches. But the color right here, which is Camel, it is that mustardy, yellowy brown that is not very pretty looking, but it's so beautiful in the crease, so beautiful. So I'll, I'll keep it at that. Now here's the deal also, Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the color Preppy is similar as well as MAC Pro Longwear eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. <laughs> These keep popping out. So MAC, yeah, in Uninterrupted. What other color is similar? I feel like there's another one that's similar. But anyway, you wouldn't need more than one of those. If you have one, you wouldn't need you know, because it's pretty darn near the same once you get it on the eye. And then the other color from Bobbi Brown is Banana. And it is just that light pastel. That's the same thing. It's a very pastel, like a soft, buttery yellow color. And both Camel and Banana are, they're just, they're not like a matte finish, but they're, I mean, I guess they are a matte finish, but they're more like a satin, but they're so buttery. And with Bobbi Brown, you're not gonna get the, the pigmentation of something like Urban Decay. It's just more refined and it's, they're just easy to work with. And I mean, they're pigmented, but you guys know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just more classic. And anyway, now I'm rambling too much, so I'm gonna cut myself off. But that banana color is just so beautiful all over the entire lid or for a highlight on the inner corner. I just find that it's super brightening and it just brightens up your whole eyes your eye look and just makes you look super bright eyed and fresh face, which who doesn't love? <laughs> All right, and then next I have a full palette and it is the A Cosmetics, has a super long name. It's the Naturally Pretty Volume One Matte Luxe Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like this. Now this is the first one that they came out with. They recently, by recently I mean a few months ago, came out with another one that has like a silvery packaging and I just, I don't love that one, but this one is so awesome. I don't know why, I don't know what the difference is. It's just, these are so much better and they just blend so much better and they're just not, the other ones are just chalky. Anyway, I talk about that a ton. I have a whole video on the other one, but these are all matte eyeshadows and then you get the transforming pearl so you can make any of the colors like a shimmer color. Now I do have a couple different tutorials on this using this guy so just search that. Like I said in the other video I would link all the related videos to you or for you guys but I don't think the description box will allow that many characters. Two eyeshadows by MAC that are just what's the word like <laughs> 
I don't have to think about it. They're just essentials. Essentials? <laughs> MAC eyeshadow in a soft brown, which is just a neutrally medium. I think it's a matte. Is it a matte? It's not shimmery or anything. It's a great crease color. Throw it up in the crease transition color. If I ever do a look and it's just something is not right about it to me, I'll just throw MAC Soft Brown in there and it just comes together. <laughs> and then also MAC, MAC Shroom, Shroom eyeshadow, which is that, I think it's, pre it's pretty neutral. Just a neutrally, it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's just a perfect all over lid color for me being a light or not even light but super fair <laughs> and then also an inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight and you can also use shroom as a cheek highlight as well so those two eyeshadows I keep them in a duo and I keep it in like my everyday makeup product drawer that I always reach for or I keep it on my I don't you can't see it but my Lori Grainer tabletop spinner organizer that I like feature it's like my make my weekly makeup basket I just have products that I change out on there this is always in the drawer or in on the spinner I think these are the last eyeshadows that I have and I really whittled, whittled it down you guys you know I love products I love a lot of stuff but these are the ones that if I didn't have in my collection if I lost or were stolen or whatever I would definitely go out and repurchase them so yeah I mean they're my favorites <laughs> I have the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadows and two colors specifically, but I love these eyeshadows. Just find your favorite color and buy it. Yes, eat it because it is $32. I think they're $32 or are they $29 or $32? Girlfriend, they're expensive, as Ka Kathleen Lights would say. <laughs> that expensive, <laughs> but so worth it. They're dual intensity because you can use them wet or dry. I always use mine dry, but I'm sure they would be beautiful wet. Oh, I do have... Mm, five of these now but I just picked out my two favorite ones so I have Callisto which is kind of a it's a silvery purpley taupe color which is not like my favorite because I love warm tones it's a little bit cool tone but I just find with a warm tone crease color and then this on the lid so mixing cools with warm it is just beautiful and then the other color I love is Dion I mean I love them all is Dion just because it is again it's like a bronzy pewtery silvery taupey color it's just so pretty and I like to wear both of those colors just all over the lid I do have one of the colors I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head but I'll, I'll list it down below I, I always list everything I wear if you're if you're not familiar as far as makeup clothes jewelry all that stuff goes but I am wearing one of the colors on the, my lid it's like a light purpley shift duochrome color and it's just just good stuff so beautiful I actually lied I have some other eyeshadows to talk about these are Sigma these are called highlight duo it's basically two eyeshadows in a little compact and the my favorite shade now they do have I think I have a blog post on these so I'll insert the pictures now of the swatches but they have four different ones that each have different like a duo so there's yeah four each one has a, two colors in it duh <laughs> anyway my favorite is ray of light which is this it's another buttery pastel yellow color and then just like a champagne like a goldy champagne color now these are so soft and I love wearing these all over the lid for that nice base so after I put on like a sticky or cream product for a primer like the paint pot or the Jordania made to last I always like to lay down before I go in with any other eyeshadow lay down a nice thin veil of product powder product so that way when you go in with eyeshadow uh, more eyeshadow colors over top of it it blends a lot easier and it just makes your job of working with eyeshadows easier and these I just I fall in love with them and actually when I was in Texas visiting Laura Miss Lola Lynn I was I used hers and I just I fell in love with them so much that I literally was at her house in Texas and I ordered them that same night because I was just obsessed and I ordered them all because I just love them and you can use them as a highlight a brow bone highlight I think that's what they're made for or designed for is to like carve out or shape your brows so just as a highlight so absolutely love these 
you if you got this or if you had the Bobbi Brown banana eyeshadow, you wouldn't need both because they're super similar. I think that completes all the eyeshadows. So let's do brows and then I have just some mascara and eyeliners and then we're almost ready for lips. So brow products. I'm pretty sure all my favorites are by Anastasia because she does brows like nobody else. I mean, she just has good products. So this is the brow, the Anastasia Pro Brow Palette. It comes like that. Now, you don't need, if you're just doing your own makeup, you don't need the whole thing. But I, I like this because I like to have a variety of shades. I can't decide if I'm dark hair, red hair, blonde hair, or whatever. So I basically, my hair changes, my hair color changes a lot. So I, it's just good to have because you have a variety. Anyway, just pick pick your, your shade that works. But I love the Anastasia powders. They're, they're so great. The Sigma ones are great as well and they're a little bit more affordable but I couldn't find my Sigma one so love that and actually today I'm wearing soft brown on my brows. And then also I'm not sure where it is but it's a favorite all time long time forever favorite. It's the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set your brows in place. And then of course the Brow Wiz. I actually have this on as well. This is the Brow Wiz in Soft Brown and I switch shades. I have Caramel for when I want to have more car caramel or red tone brows. Soft Brown is such a universal shade I find and it's just there's nothing like it. It has a super fine little tip so you can mimic hair, natural hair growth on your brows if, you're, if you don't have a ton of brow hair. And then the Spoolie is so amazing. Now I'll reach for the Spoolie even when I'm using any other brow products, I just like the spoolie. It really blends up out any brow product that you have really nicely. Now, I actually have a brow routine filmed, so that might be one of the videos that I put up while I'm in California, but if it's not up, it'll be up in the next few weeks because I filmed it and I'm so excited. So in that brow routine, I use the Brow Wiz and I also use the Dip Brow, which sounds excessive, but I'll explain in the video. But the Dip Brow Pomade is so, so good. Now, I have mine in chocolate. That's the color that I've been wearing the most. I have a lot of different, or I have a few different shades. I'll insert the picture here so you can see swatches. Now, the, the pomade is great, but you have to kind of finesse the art of application because you just need to work on it. You're not gonna have a great application the first time you use it, unless you're freaking amazing, then all, ha all hats off to you, props to you. <laughs> but basically, you can use a lot and you can get really heavy handed, so you'll see that demoed in the video. I'll just I'll leave it at that. We are almost done with eyes. I feel like it's gone by fast, but then again, I've been recording for almost a half an hour, so I hope it's not super long. I, I love, 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 the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, all except the highlight color, which was in a fail from the Beauty Buzz, my weekly favorites, if you guys watch that. These are so good though, and I have the color black brown. This is the one, this is black brown, but I have black, brown, I think those are the only colors that I have, but I just love them for the waterline. They stay put, they go on no tug, <laughs> they, they truly do go on super nice and creamy. And their click up, my camera cut me off because I don't know why, because I think I was talking for too long. Anyway, I was talking about the It Cosmetics No Tug and they are click up or mechanical if you will, but they do have a little sharpener on the end that you can get a sharp tip. I hate using those sharpeners because I just feel like it wastes product and it breaks it off, but I love those except the highlight shade. Don't get the highlight shade. And then two mascaras and we're done with eyes. Okay, so obviously the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. Thanks, Laura, for getting me hooked on this. She gave this to me a two, like my first two, but a couple birthdays ago, she gave it to me as a birthday gift. And she got me hooked on a $37 mascara, but it's so amazing. It's a super wet formula. So I like it when it's new. I like it when it's a little bit dried out. It just has a little wand like that. I just love it. It give, It's it's just awesome and it's totally worth it. If I had to not buy any other mascaras and only get this one, I totally would without a problem. And then another one that I've just been in love with as well is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. And this is just a smaller, like a skinnier wand, you can see. 
it's natural bristles and it's just skinny so it's great for really getting in and you know coating all the smaller lashes it's also fabulous for the lower lash lines and don't get me wrong i absolutely love drugstore mascaras i love a ton of them but these are mascaras that i've repurchased throughout the year and i guess i just come across so many drugstore mascaras that i don't repurchase them although i love them i don't have ones that i repurchase so whittling it down this is what it this is what it is just kidding i have two more eyeshadow products to show you but they're affordable options First up, I mean, I have to shout out the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, and I love these. I have a whole video on these, and I actually will be making another video because I ordered more. <laughs> and this is the standout color for me. This is in So Quiche. This is like, can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it in the viewfinder, and it's like purple, but then it's bronze, and then it's green, and it just has so many different shifts to it so beautiful so i love those can't go wrong five dollars each and then i think last for sure is the milani bella eyes eyeshadows these are i think around 3.99 or 4.50 maybe you can get them at wherever milani is sold otherwise you can order off the milani website these are great. I do have a whole swatch video of all the colors in the collection. And my favorite is Bella Cafe just because it is just a really great, it's almost, is it a satin finish? It's a satin matte finish. And then Bella Cafe is just a really nice, great transition color. It's, it's right there. It's just perfect for blending and it's not overly pigmented that it's, it's pigmented, but it's not like wham, bam, super pigment where it kicks up a ton of uh, eyeshadow it's just really easy to blend and it looks beautiful in the crease all right guys so next up is lip products i'm super excited i have to first talk about my mac lip pencils you guys know i love these and i have three colors in particular that are my absolute favorites the first two are the ones i'm wearing today and these are the liners that i've been wearing almost probably every single time i put on lip liner i've i've worn these in the last few months in particular so i have oak which is this one. Oak is like a beigey brown color and it's freaking amazing. And then stone, which is like a taupey gray. <laughs> and I have them on today and they just really give you the illusion of just larger, more fuller, plump lips. They create like a shadowy look. So it just makes your lips look bigger and I love it. And then just like an everyday color that I just, I love and I wear all the time when I'm not sure, you know, I'm doing like a more neutrally lip is dervish which is basically just i need to sharpen mine it's just a nice neutral it's like a pinky a pinky color a nudie pink and then let's just do mac and get mac out of the way so i have two mac lipsticks that i love so much and the first one is pervet which looks like this this is is it a glaze it's a glaze so it's gonna go on like more sheer and why i love this one look at it it's like purpley blue pink it's so so good because you can put it over your entire lip area if you don't want to do lip gloss because lip gloss can be nice and multi-dimensional and just add dimension to your lips and make them look fuller but this is basically will do that add that extra dimension to your lips and make them look fuller but it's not a lip gloss so that's why I love that one I've talked talked about that one a ton and then Love Lorn. Love Lorn is a luster finish. And it's just for me, it's the perfect pink. Like everyday, neutrally, pretty neutral pink. I wore this a ton all summer long. And the lip gloss that I love over it, I think that's the last MAC product. No, nope, I have another lip gloss, but MAC Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches. This is just. It just makes your lips look so luscious. I wore this all summer long and it looks so pretty with a tan. I mean, it looks pretty on fair skin, but it's the perfect topper. There's the Dazzle Glass and Rags to Riches. Rags to Riches. It's so, it has like gold, blue, and purple, and it is like heavy glitter, but it's not chunky. You don't really feel it on your lips. If you want to have the illusion of fuller lips, these products, like the MAC lip pencils that I talked about, and this, and then that Pervet lipstick, 
you have to have it in your collection. And then the last, I think last MAC product is the Lip Glass and Snob. It's just a really, really light baby doll, almost like pastel lavender pink. It's right there. I mean, it's a gloss, so it's not, it's more wearable than you would think. It's a lot more wearable than Snob lipstick. And I love this over any weird, if I have like a weird lip combination, which you guys know I love, and I think I'm going to do a whole, a whole video with all my favorite like weird lip combinations. You guys will have to let me know if you want to see that video. I think I will do it though. But anyway, if, if I have like a weird lip combination and it's just need something else, need something to kind of tame it down or just add a little bit more softness to it, snob. I always put snob over it. For example, another favorite is... By Beauty Lipstick in Kava, which is that lilac beige. Mine's super beat up. Now this can look a little corpse-ish on its own, but it's such a beautiful color. It truly is such a beautiful color, and I just think it's so beautiful. But if you like, or if you want to try to wear a shade like Kava, or the stone lip pencil, and it just looks too corpse-like for you, try adding a baby pink lip gloss or mix it with a lipstick or something over it so snob is a good one to do that so pair that the corpse colors or weird colors with a baby pink and you'll be golden and then next nars audacious lipsticks duh <laughs> i only have two colors i'm probably gonna pick up some more while in la for imax i have anna and anita and i have blog posts with these and lip swatches so i'll just put those pictures over top while I'm talking right now. I don't know which one's my favorite. They're both just everyday, like your lips, but better color for me anyway, in my opinion. Anita is a little bit more of a brownie color, whereas Anna is more of like a dusty rose mauve. Super luxurious magnetic packaging, if you're not familiar. Expensive, but well worth it. <laughs> now, lipsticks that are more affordable are gonna be the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. Two colors in particular, Lust for Blush, which is just a nice blush mauve color. The formula on these is phenomenal. And then also Touch of Spice, which is the perfect 19, I was gonna say 1995 by Jaclyn Hill Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics, but it is that color. It's very similar, but it's that Kylie Jenner 90s lip that is just perfection. And then something that has easily become a super favorite is the Kat Von D lipstick. It's the Studded Kiss lipstick in the color Lovecraft, which is another Your Lips But Better mauve 90s color Kylie Jenner lip. And this is a matte formula and it's, it stays a super duper long time. So love that. Look at the packaging. It's so cute. And now that's the only, Lovecraft is the only color that I've tried out of this line. I just wish there was more colors that were more appealing to me, but they're just, they're just not. So hopefully the show come out with more colors because I love the formula. Another lip liner that I have to shout out is the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better Waterproof nude lip liner stain. These are so great. If you ever do makeup on anybody else, if you're a makeup artist, you have to have at least one of these in your kit because you put this on and then whatever lip products you want to put over it, it will just help that entire lip look stay longer. And even once the lipstick or the gloss has worn off the stain, this liner will still be on there. It's just fabulous. And the color that I chose, I mean, I like all the colors. I think I have all the colors in the line. I think there's like four or five colors. I just picked Nude Light Medium because it's just pretty darn neutral. And just check these out. Find a color you like and you will love them because they literally line and stain your lips and they're just great. ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I have a whole video on these. And these two colors actually weren't even in that video because I love them so much I had to buy more. So my favorite two colors, Lippy Sticks or ColourPop, they're $5 if you're not familiar. Now I love Kathleen Light's color that she created with them is Lumiere. And it's just your lips look better, 90s, everything. It's a matte finish. It's just beautiful. I've been wearing this a ton. And then for an everyday color that you don't even need a mirror, you can just like put it on. It's just perfect. It's the color Bound, which is just a everyday pink color. Now this is a glossy finish, so it's not as long wear as the matte ones, but 
they have a, a light hint of lavender lavender no they have a light hint of vanilla why why did i <laughs> i don't even know where that came from but love 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 those so much and i know i'm not alone because there's like a color pop frenzy on instagram and youtube so they're good for or they're talked about and hyped up for a reason and then bite beauty matte cream lip crayon and glossé i mean all these colors are like i mean look at that little nubbin i have definitely been loving him or her him or her i don't know i think him but that is a little bit more of a brownie mauve like dusty rose mauve and I like how they're thin because it can go on a lot easier and they just they dry down and they're just creamy and they wear a really long time and just good stuff. I like need to slow down. I'm getting super excited talking about lip products like I need to just take a chill pill. <laughs> Alright so Maybelline Color Sensational Elixir specifically in the color Caramel Infuse. This is just such a perfect nude color. I wear this all the time this one's actually in my purse a lot don't let the caramel color or the caramel name confuse you because it is almost like a nude pink love the bouncy cushy pillowy feeling these leave on your lips this is a great everyday in the purse color and then kind of a weird color is the sigma lip gloss in the color hint this is basically the kava lipstick from bite beauty in a lip gloss form there's just something about this color that is so flattering. I just don't know what it is. Like, if you pair it right, I mean, you can even wear this one by itself. But it's just, I love it. I just cannot even get it up. See, it's like, it's like lavender beige. Like purple beige. It's so beautiful. It truly is so beautiful. But I absolutely love that. And I like, I like those Sigma lip glosses. I have a few other ones. That's my standout color. The only thing I don't prefer is that it has like a... It has a like a brush instead of a doe foot applicator which it's okay it's definitely worth it because this color is legit just so unique and beautiful and then now I'm taking it way back to the first part of the year I think this was like early spring that I got these and started loving them <laughs> I have some Milani products and I have the Milani you guys remember these I don't even know if these are still available but I love them, so I have to talk about them. The Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss. This one is a nude touch. These are just super shiny and make your lips look super lush and full, as a lip gloss would do. Nude touch is like the most neutral with like little flecks of gold, but nothing chunky. Just so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure I have blog posts of all these products. And then these are so awesome. I wish they would come out with more colors of these. The Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. And this one just happens to be in Pink Rave. This is just a long wear like lip, almost like a stain. It dries down to like a satiny finish. I love these back in the day, <laughs> earlier this year. And then last, is this last? I don't know, I think it is. The Milani Lip Power. Power Lip, just kidding. Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stain. And this is in Creamy Cafe. It just is like a little, it has a brush applicator attached to it and you just click it up and then it does go on and it stains and it lasts a really long time. I love, I love those. So I'm actually excited. I need to start wearing those, some, wearing those again because you know how it is when you love makeup and all the new stuff comes out and that's why the yearly favorites is a good thing to do to revisit personally and to share with you guys. But I love stuff for a while and then I, you know, put it away and I move on to the next big thing. And you know, it's just a cycle, it goes like that. <laughs> that finishes up the video though. This was really fun to do. I'm like super excited to revisit some of these favorites of stuff that I loved at different parts or earlier in the year and then kind of forgot about. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And yes, if you're going to IMADS, please, if you see me, walking around please come up and say hi and give me a hug i'm just so excited and i'm just so thankful for the opportunity i have to go and to just spend girl time with my girls cassie and laura and everybody else who's gonna go as well i'm just rooming with them so they'll be like we're gonna be like the three amigos and then also i will be getting back to the regular weekly favorites the beauty buzz videos probably not this week or next week but the following week I just didn't want to do like annual favorites yearly favorites plus weekly favorites I just thought that might be a 
favorites overload. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.